So I think the fact that education has done a really poor job in the history portion of, um, of telling our story, that the literature books do a better job of doing that. And I think that by offering a class like this, it gives students, children a chance to reach into their history and tap into the experiences of the, of the Chicano author. I think two or three years ago, we wanted to have a Chicano Studies class in San Diego Unified School District because San Diego Unified School District, those of you that don't know, is the second largest district in California. Second largest district in California. And we have, um, <clears throat> in, in San Diego Unified School District, there's more Mexican-American students than any other ethnicity. It's uh, over 50% of the students in San Diego Unified are, are of Mexican descent, Mexican-American descent. So we wanted to have a course where they could learn about their culture and history and other students can also learn because it makes sense. The majority of the people that you're around are of Mexican descent, then I think it's important to learn about who they are and their culture and vice versa. So we started that course. Um, last year was the first year and we had a, uh, a pretty amazing teacher, Ms. Aranda started here um, and uh, Diego uh, Gutierrez, who has been real supportive too and other, other people from different parts of the district have been supportive and pulling it off. So this is the second year it's being taught here at Crawford High School. Well, first of all, um, I was surprised when I got a, a phone call from Diego Gutierrez and he told me that uh, Marcelino Arteaga um, had, had something to offer me. So I was really surprised. Um, I didn't expect to ever teach that in high school because um, it's you know, for years we've dealt with the canon literature, which is basically um, literature that's been given to us since we were children. And um, so what, um, what gave me the desire to teach it was my passion for it. I learned it in college. I learned it at City College and at San Diego State, and I fell in love with it. I saw the life of my mother, myself. I saw the life of my father. I saw the life of my sisters and all our struggles in that literature and I felt that it would be really relevant to kids who cannot relate to what they're reading in high school as in today's world. So I feel that um, I felt that that was um, the perfect tool to get kids engaged. I was really um, happy and excited when this opportunity came up because I think that if you are Chicano or Mexican origin, or even if you're not, focusing on the literature of a particular uh, of a particular group enhances our own view. Um, it opens more doors and opportunities to compare and contrast. It also values who we are, and. Um, I'm also glad that, for instance, in this Chicano literature class, there are kids from other backgrounds, because they're very. They're, they're, once we start studying those aspects of literature, we know that we actually have more things in common that we have that separate us. So um, I'm really excited that we were being able, we're able to get it off the ground, but it takes. It takes a lot of people. It takes people who help us with uh, the support uh, to the teacher. It takes a teacher also who is knowledgeable and willing to do it because there, there is nothing written on this. We are, I mean, we, the teacher, is writing the curriculum and using the curriculum as we grow. So it's a, it's a big, huge commitment from her too. So I'm really, really excited and I hope that we can continue doing this class. I learned to not judge people and to like understand them, to like, trying to know other cultures and stuff. I learned about the Aztecs and like what Masa had taught us about um, like they, with how they spoke and like the, the way they wrote their name and stuff. I learned what's the difference between oppressive and what's not oppressive and like there's so many things that people like opinions changed about everybody. I learned that the Chicano people have been through a lot, like the Chicano movement and stuff like that, so yeah. I've learned so much, like test taking have improved, my skills in that have improved. Um, 
and many other things like oppression, how there's still so much oppression in the, in the United States and in the world. One thing I learned in Chicago literature class is that I learned more about the Mexican culture and also how like a lot of different races have um, shared similar struggles. I learned that Chicanos have been through a lot, like oppression, having to deal with not being accepted as full Mexicans and not being accepted as white. So they were like in between the struggles and how to be accepted back then the only way was to join the World War II and many died trying to prove a point. I learned that, that a lot of cultures have been through a lot in order to get to where they are today and to earn our freedom. I learned that there's other people that's out there that made history and that affects us today. I learned that it was a different experience from all my other classes from English in the past? Well, I think that it's a good class in the sense that um, Chicano history has virtually been ignored in, in our educational system in the sense that we've, um, our textbooks are filled with history from a very European perspective and when people like ourselves started to complain about that, the response of the text, textbook manufacturers were to add little pieces of like, oh and by the way, this community contributed this, and oh and this community contributed that. But that's not our experience. Our experience is very, very different. So I've had the opportunity now to sit in twice on the class, and uh, the first time that I went into the class, you were reading the play, The Bucket Private, and I thought it was fascinating. Um, first of all, and I know that uh, the person who's interviewing me was the narrator of Death. It was an incredible play, and I think very telling, I think, of the unique experiences that Latino, Latino families had during that time. I think that any time that we can provide students a strong foundation of who they are or who their, their culture or what their culture represents to them, I think that just makes us better as people. Um, it makes you more well-rounded and it also provides students, I think, a self sense of self-esteem and responsibility because with knowing who you are, there's, I think, a sense of responsibility to help others in your same situation. So I find the class fascinating. The kids are really engaged. Um, there's a lot of commentary and I think it's something that we should definitely continue. It's been a wonderful experience um, seeing kids wanting to learn more about their history and their culture, w having fun, um, reading and really good stories written by our, our people, and finally seeing that they're interested. Because I would say for years, I've been teaching for you know 12 years, and for, and I never saw so much engagement as I've seen these past two years I've been teaching Chicano literature. So I've been really um, you know, fortunate to have been chosen to teach this class. And I love it. Oh, what I liked about this class was the teacher. Because she like helped me with Cassie and you know, she teaches like, um, she knows about Chicano literature a lot. I like that, like the, the different stuff that we ta uh, learned about, because it's not like regular English, it's a different type of English. It changed my, my view of the Chicano and like how I lived. I like the projects that we have done, like the painting of the Aztec uh, names and stuff. Um, what I liked is that how everyone was like open-minded and like they all sp um, spoke what like whatever came to mind and whatever and there was nothing we had to keep there's like we didn't have to keep anything personal because everyone experienced like I mean everyone like expressed their feelings. One of them probably be the teacher she's really determined to get in the student's education. What I liked about it is that like you have that like self-motivation that you could say whatever you want but everybody critiques it in their own way so you get to like open up your voice and people will like have something to say about it. I liked about the class is that we got to say whatever we wanted, that we had freedom, but also it was kind of strict in some areas where Mr. Rondo was. But 
I enjoyed it a lot because I learned a lot about my culture and where my people came from and what they've been through. I liked how there's other, how, how this class can um, make us and different cultures fit in. I learned, I like that I learned more about my culture because I didn't know that um, we had a different language from before and it was originally Spanish. Well, our teacher, she's the best and she like, there's no other teacher that would explain this class to us more than like she would. And like, I really thank her because like if it wasn't for her and her struggles, like we wouldn't pass the Cassie and like she went through a lot trying to teach us and like I noticed that. Each one of us, um, uh, myself included, I started to research my, my family history and I uh, tapped into that just a little bit earlier about my family and how they um, lived in this part of Southern Colorado. But they lived in this par Southern part of Colorado when it was Mexico. So when people ask me, are you Mexican? Yes, I am, but I'm, my Mexican experience is very, very different from the Mexican experience that children experience now or experience even 20 years ago because my experience um, was that my family lived for centuries in this small community. So when we study history, we study about history from people that came west, but that's not our history. Our history is we came from the south. So our history should say, go north, young man, not go west, as the textbooks would have you believe. Say that I, rec I would definitely recommend this class because it's not only learn, I mean, we, we want you to be able to um, analyze the, um, you know, literature. We want you to be able to write about it. We want you to be able to use grammar correctly and everything. We're just using a different um, um, avenue to do that, which is Chicano literature. So um, I would recommend it for everyone. My um, Mexican students obviously um, will, will certainly benefit, but anyone from any other background who's interested, who wants to learn more about um, literature and Chicano literature in particular, it will greatly benefit them. I hope to continue teaching this class and that the students who take my class um, in the future and even the ones who have been here um, become proud of their background, of who they are and um, their culture and where they came from and to continue taking that throughout their life.